Now I'm going to explain what I mean by volume coefficient in this video. As I explain it, I'm not going to do so in a manner that should get you thinking about the formula and how to calculate the mathematical problems and so forth. No, I am going to explain it so that you are able to see it beyond the math and the figures. So here I go. So first of all, what is a coefficient? Now, according to mathematics, a coefficient is just a number you're going to multiply with the variable. For example, if I say 6x or I say 2y, this is a variable and that is a variable. And these constants, these numbers that we are using to multiply with the variable, are that, that is what we are calling a coefficient. Now, this is according to mathematics. Now, in physics, what is a coefficient? In physics, a coefficient is looked at as a multiplier or call it a factor which functions to help us measure a particular property. Now, in this case, when I say volume coefficient, it means we are dealing with a multiplier that is helping us to measure the volume. Now, what exactly is volume coefficient at constant pressure? Because now this is what I'm trying to explain. Now, volume coefficient of a fixed mass of a gas at constant pressure is the fractional increase in the volume of a gas at zero degrees Celsius per Kelvin rise in temperature. Now, like I said, I just don't want you to cram this. I want you to be able to see it. So allow me use this illustration to help you understand what I mean by volume coefficient. Now we're going to imagine that I work at a company and at this company, I am getting a thousand dollars every month. I am getting a thousand dollars every month as I work in this company, but then it reaches a certain time for let's call this month a certain month and my employer is saying that we are going to increase your salary by a hundred dollars over the next five months. So it means that if this is what I was getting in initially, this is what I've been getting, then it means in the first month they are going to increase my salary by a hundred dollars in the second, in the third, in the fourth, and then in the fifth. So my salary has been a thousand dollars. But now beginning with the end of this first month, they are going to increase it by a hundred dollars. So it means that after the end of a hundred, um, uh, after the end of the first month, my new salary will become a thousand dollars plus this a hundred. So it be, remains one thousand one hundred dollars. Then in the second month, it becomes one thousand two hundred. The, in the third month, the increase my salary becomes 1,300, 1,400, 1,500. So it means that at the end of these five months, my salary will have increased from $1,000 to $1,500. So meaning that if I want to know how much my salary has increased over this period of time, I'll simply get this final figure subtract the initial figure and say so i will say that my my salary has increased by 500 dollars so if i may denote salary to be s it would mean but my change in the salary is going to be equal to my final salary which is 1500 dollars minus my initial salary which is a thousand dollars so my change in salary will be $500 after subtracting. This is delta S, my change in salary. Now, if this is to continue, let's say for a thousand months or 10,000 months, for me to keep adding on these things like this will become cumbersome. So there is another way to look at this. But before we get into that other way, I will need you people to notice or to take note that this is my increase in salary. From, the, from this first month to the last month, my salary has increased by $500. So now I ask myself a question now. What if I wanted to know by what percentage is this increment? Remember, every month I am getting $100, $100, $100. So the question is that by what percentage or what is that fraction compared to what I've been getting at the very beginning. What is that fraction, that incremental percentage by what I've been getting? So if I want to get a f the fraction of my increase 
compared to what I was getting initially, we would simply get, since they are increasing me by $100, so I will say it's $100, $100 divide that by what I was getting initially, which is 1000 and 100 divided by 1000 you get, your answer is a tenth. So it means this 1 over 10 is the fraction of my original salary that is increasing. So it means that in the first month, um, the, they add a tenth of my original salary to my original salary for me to get 1,100. In my second month, they get a tenth of my original salary and they get that, that's how they calculate my increase. They get that and they add it to my original salary to get this. This is what I'm saying, in case you've lost me. I mean that for every month that passes by, my salary is going to increase by a tenth of the original. For every month that passes by, my current salary is going to increase by a tenth of the original. Every month that passes by, my current salary is going to increase by a tenth of the original. So, in simple terms, for example, if I was in my first month and I wanted to know how my, first, my salary is going to increase to the next, it's simply going to be a tenth of my original salary. A tenth of my original salary, that is $100, so I add $100 here. A tenth of my original salary plus my current salary gives me the next salary. So, in simple terms, if I want to calculate my change, my salary increment, let's say, in a space of five months, I would simply get the fraction of my increment in one month and multiply it through by five. This is how we we'll do it. Like I had earlier said, this fraction right here represents the proportion of my increase. In my increase is a tenth of the original. It means that if I want to know how much I increased here, I would simply get that a tenth, which is the fraction, multiply that by how much I was getting at the original, which is a thousand. And this is giving me, this goes with that, a hundred dollars. So it means that this is how much is increasing in my first month. If I need to know how much money was increased in the first three months, of course, my change in salary in the first three months here would be my change in salary is going to be equal to this 1,300 minus my original amount, which is minus 1,000. And you'll find that here I'll get 300. So it means that from the between the first month to the third month, my increment in salary has been $300. But another way of getting this $300 would simply go to, I know the fraction by which I am increasing. Like my increment, this $100 accounts for a tenth of my original salary. So this a tenth, I could simply say, to, to find the increase in the first three months would be a tenth. Multiply the a tenth by the original, which is the $1,000. And so it means that this calculation here accounts for the, the, the proportion that is increasing every month. Then you multiply it by how many months? One, two, three, by three months. And when you multiply this by three, you still end with $300. Let's explore this again. Let's, for, in original, we say that if I want to know my change in salary, which I've called DS or my increment in salary over these five months, I got I get the final figure or the final salary in the fifth month, which so happens to be one thousand five hundred dollars, and subtract that from what I was getting at the beginning, and I discover that over these five months my salary increased by five hundred dollars. So now, if I do not look at it this way and instead calculate this increase using this method here. I would, me, I would say that I would get this fraction, which is a tenth. 
I know that my salary increases every month by a tenth of my original salary, which is times a thousand. So now this is the increase every month. And then since I want to know the increase over the five months, I would simply multiply this by five. And there I'll still get my $500. So it means that if I may create an equation out of this, it would mean that my change in salary is going to be equal to this fraction, a fraction of my original salary. Let me call my original salary S subscript note. It is one, a tenth of my original salary. Multiply that by the number of months. Or let me call it the change in months. Because this is the fifth month. This is the first month. So multiply that by the change in months. So the, my change in salary is going to be equal to a tenth of the original and then you multiply that again by the change in months. The change in months means, uh, in this case, this let's say this is called zero. The month zero, month one, two, three, four, five. So it's going to be the fifth month minus the zeroth month, where the, the, this is the very beginning. And in this case, th this is what I mean by delta M, the change in months. What I'm pulling to your attention here is that this one over 10, this fraction, is representing by how much my salary increases for every passing month for every passing month so I can say that for every passing month my salary is going to increase by a fraction of 1 out of 10 of my original salary now this 1 out of 10 is what we can call the coefficient of salary increase I hope you're now getting me. This now becomes our coefficient of salary increase and we can make a general equation and simply say that change in salary is going to be equal to the coefficient of salary increase. I can call it alpha coefficient of salary increase. Multiply that by the original salary. Multiply that by the change in months. This is the coefficient of salary increase and so by definition we can say that this coefficient of salary increase it is the fractional increase in salary of the first month for every month that passes by so i would like to relate this to the temperature the, so this coefficient of salary increase like i have demonstrated it here this is exactly how i want you to look at when we're talking about um, volume coefficient at constant pressure. When we're talking about volume coefficient at constant pressure, it means that we have gotten a certain gas. This is a gas. And we have subjected this gas to some amount of heat. We have subjected this gas at some heat, but we have kept the pressure constant. When we keep the pressure constant, it means that as we heat this gas, this piston is going to be pushed up because we are supposed to maintain pr pressure to be constant. That is for uh, an ideal gas. So if the, the initial volume, let's call initial volume. If the initial volume is V0, V0 meaning that the volume at zero degrees Celsius. And then the final volume is probably V and at a certain unknown temperature, when the temperature increases, so the volume increases, uh, the, the initial volume is V0, the final volume we've called it V theta, with theta representing the unknown temperature, the volume at that unknown temperature. So it means that if we heat this gas for a certain amount of time and this piston moves from a certain point and it pushes up to another point, it means the change in volume is going to be given by volume at that unknown temperature theta minus V0. Now that's how we can get the change in volume or that's how we are looking at it as the change in salary when you just subtract the final minus the initial. Looking at this another way means, let's, let me give an illustration here. Let's say we have this scale right here and this is volume, uh, this is the volume at zero degrees Celsius, of course, this is one degree Celsius, two degrees Celsius, three degrees Celsius, up to theta. 
volume at theta and we know that for every increase in temperature from 0 to 1 degree or from 0 to 1 Kelvin from there to the next degree for every increase in temperature the more you heat this thing the volume increases when the temperature rises the volume continues increasing to this to, to again the temperature rises the volume continue increasing so now you ask yourself that by what fraction of the original volume is this thing increasing let us say that um, when this volume increases from here to there it increases by a certain volume vx let's call it x the change in volume from this temperature to that temperature increases by vx so if this volume is increasing from 0 to 1 consistently by a certain volume let's call it vx so it means that the fraction that is increasing is going to be given by vx over the original volume of the of this so it means just like the illustration i had made before that if i want to know um, by how much this volume is increasing every time the temperature goes up every time the temperature goes up by how much is this volume increasing it means that i'm going to get this fraction and multiply that by the initial volume and just like in my previous illustration if i want to know how much has increased for how much volume has increased from zero to theta it's simply going to i'm going to multiply how much increases per degree celsius rise per one degree times the total number of degrees the total number of degrees in this case is going to be theta minus zero so i'll just simply say this is multiply that by the change in temperature now just like i had illustrated earlier in my illustration of the increment in salary this fractional increment is what we are calling the volume coefficient at constant pressure now of course we also have what we call if we may rearrange this this is how it would look like that this change in volume which is v theta minus v naught is the same as saying the volume coefficient at constant pressure multiply that by the original volume which we are calling v naught multiply that by the ch the change in temperature let me simply call it theta because this change in temperature is theta minus zero we are always we always measure from zero let me just call this theta theta is like this temperature minus zero which remains as theta so making this the subject of the formula means alpha p is going to be equal to phi v theta minus v naught divide that by v naught theta now this alpha p is what we are calling the volume coefficient at constant pressure and by definition the volume coefficient at constant pressure of a fixed mass of a gas is the fractional increase in volume like i have been illustrating earlier that the it is the fractional increase in volume of the gas at zero degree celsius a degree celsius rise in temperature of this brings us to the end of this video thanks for watching feel free to check out other excellent videos on the channel and don't forget to subscribe for example academy this is anod rangakuramia helping you manifest excellence